Here's a ground ball right side, could do it. The Houston Astros are world champions for the first time in franchise history. The Houston Astros cheating scandal. After Major League Baseball fined the team $5 million and docked several top draft picks for the scheme, the team fired its manager, A.J. Hinch, and general manager, Jeff Luno, in January 2020. Baseball commissioner Robert D. Manfred suspended both for one year. Manfred has been heavily chastised for not punishing any players and for not vacating the Astros World Series title from 2017. Hinch's absence from baseball was only temporary. He was named manager of the Detroit Tigers on October 30, 2020, less than 72 hours after his suspension expired. The Boston Red Sox fired manager Alex Cora after the MLB report implicated him in the scheme from his time as the Astros bench coach in 2017, only to rehire him less than a year later. Carlos Beltran, the newly hired manager of the New York Mets, was the next domino to fall, resigning before ever managing a game for the team. He played outfield for the Astros during the 2017 season. Uh, they hung a television monitor that had a live feed of the, of the catcher's hands, which is where one gets the signs, uh, fingers at the pitcher that the catcher puts down in order to indicate what pitch is coming. Astros players would then bang on a trash can with a baseball bat uh, to get that audio cue to the batter. Usually it was a changeup or an off-speed pitch. Is it only the fans who care? No. Players throughout the league wondered if they had been denied baseball immortality due to Houston's deception. Aaron Judge, the New York Yankee slugger, known for his diplomatic responses, didn't hold back when spring training began in 2020. In 2017, he finished second to Jose Altuve of the Astros for the American League Most Valuable Player Award, which Houston won in seven games in the American League Championship Series. I was pretty mad, pretty upset. Judge said, to hear that you got cheated out of that opportunity, that's tough to kind of let go. Judge added, I was sick to my stomach. Los Angeles Dodgers player Cody Bellinger increased his criticism of the Astros in February 2020. The Dodgers were the team that fell to Houston in the 2017 World Series. I think what people don't realize is Altuve stole an MVP from Judge in 17. Bellinger said, Everyone knows they stole the ring from us. Will the Astros be required to relinquish their World Series title? No. The Astros eventually defeated the Dodgers in the World Series in seven games. Still, Manfred has admitted that he thought about taking away their 2017 championship. Manfred expressed concern about the extraordinary precedent of vacating the Astros title who have now won the American League pennant in three of the previous five seasons during a news conference at spring training in 2020. Once you go down that road of changing what happens on the field, I just don't know how you decide where you stop," Manfred said. In a February 2020 interview with ESPN, Manfred did no favors by referring to the commissioner's trophy made by Tiffany & Company and awarded to the World Series champion as a piece of metal. The commissioner later apologized for his comments, but not before receiving criticism from baseball players and even basketball star LeBron James. What is the purpose of buzzers? The score between the New York Yankees and the Astros was tied at 4 in the bottom of the ninth inning of Game 6 of the 2019 American League Championship Series. The Yankees' hard-throwing closer, our oldest Chapman, was ahead in the count when Altuve turned on an 84 miles per hour slider for a home run over the left center field wall, sending the Astros to the World Series. Altuve had two balls and one strike against Chapman at the time. Altuve gestured for his teammates not to rip off his jersey as they were about to swarm him at the home plate as he approached third base. Baseball's version of the Zapruder film is a curious reaction video. Altuve may have been wearing a buzzer beneath his jersey that alerted him to Chapman's pitch choice, according to rival players and fans of opposing teams. A batter would have had a better chance of receiving a fastball in that count. Manfred claims that Major League Baseball did not discover proof that the Astros players used buzzers as part of their sign-stealing scheme. However, the commissioner added that he could not guarantee that they did not. Altuve and other Astros players have insisted that there were no buzzers used, 
Chapman referred to Altuve's behavior as suspicious. What does sign stealing entail? Baseball players have been engaging in a practice known as sign stealing for more than a century. They attempt to decipher catchers and pitchers' nonverbal cues to determine where and what pitch to throw next. The element of surprise is the pitcher's most significant advantage over the batter. A catcher will usually sign for a fastball by placing one finger down. The signal for an off-speed pitch, such as a curveball, is two fingers. Suppose a runner is on second base or the catcher suspects someone is attempting to steal the signs. In that case, they will relay multiple sets of characters. If they disagree on the choice of pitch, the pitchers will occasionally shake off catchers. Even in the movie Ball Darnum, there was a scene in which Kevin Costner's character Crash Davis, played by Tim Robbins' Nuke Lelouch, shook off his catcher to warn the batter that he would be facing a fastball. The athlete made a home run. According to Paul Dixon's book, The Hidden Language of Baseball, How Signs and Sign Stealing Have Influenced the Course of Our National Pastime, some of the earliest accounts of sign stealing date back to the 1870s, when the Hartford Dark Blues, a founding member of the National League with fans that included Mark Twain, were accused of using a shed and a telegraph pole outside the ballpark to steal opponent's sign. According to James E. Elfer's article for the Society for American Baseball Research, several teams have been linked to sign-stealing schemes over the years, including the Philadelphia Phillies in 1898, the Cleveland Indians in 1948, and the New York Giants in 1951. How did the Astros steal the signs of their opponents? Since the 2014 campaign, Major League Baseball has given managers one opportunity per game to use a video replay system to contest a call made on the field, but not balls or strikes. Every team, including the Astros, allegedly using the center field camera feed to steal opponent's signs, has a video replay review room. According to the investigation, one of the Astros players would serve as a runner at the start of the 2017 season relaying the signs to teammates in the dugout and the then to the batter. The bench coach Cora would call the video review room early in that championship season to get the signs. According to the report, the signs were occasionally transmitted via text messages to a staff member's smartwatch or a smartphone in the dugout. In the end, according to MLB investigators, Cora set up a television monitor outside the Astros' dugout so the players could watch the center field camera feed. The players then signaled to the batter to get ready for a curveball or other off-speed pitch by hitting a trash can with a bat or using a massage tool called a Theragun a few times. They wouldn't thrash on the garbage can if it were a fastball. Did any of the players receive punishment? No. Although the baseball investigation found that the players were behind the sign-stealing scheme, the report disallowed punishment of specific players as being difficult and impractical. Manfred, the commissioner, claimed he wasn't in a position to assess whether the plan benefited the Astros' batters or the team's ability to win games. Before going on a championship-winning playoff run in 2017, Houston won 101 games in the regular season. Baseball investigators said the team's sign-stealing scheme persisted during this time. Former Astros player Mike Fiers told sports journalism website The Athletics, Ken Rosenthal, and Ivan Drellich in November 2019 specifics about the team's sign-stealing culture. All teams were warned not to use a video replay system or electronic devices to steal signs before the 2018 season by Joe Torre, who was then the league's chief baseball officer and is currently the baseball commissioner's special assistant. The instruction resulted from another incident involving the Red Sox in 2017, in which the team used videos to give a smartwatch-wearing athletic trainer information about stolen signs in the dugout. The MLB imposed an undisclosed fine on the Red Sox. It issued a warning to teams about future infractions, saying that managers and general managers would be subject to punishment. What do you think of the video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this one and want more videos like this, be sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.